I'm coming today with a video that was requested a little while back. It's about self-publishing, which is what my weekly article today is about on my website. I update my website every Tuesday. You should always check me out. HTTP colon slash slash naturally knowledgeable dot webs dot com forward slash. And I'm always looking for more viewers. So if anyone would like to be interviewed, if you have some word that you'd like to get out, um, I am running interviews and things like that now. So, you know, comment below or send me a little message or something like that. And we'll work something out. So, basically... Becoming a self-published author is a lot easier than most people think. It's a lot easier, actually, than becoming published, in my opinion, with a company that is already established. I've tried to do that before, as I'm sure many of you have, many aspiring writers out there. I actually sent my manuscript that I had written when I was pretty young, very proud of, to a publishing company. And <laughs> they kept it for a really long time. And I finally called them, and I was like, y'all, where's, where's my manuscript? And they told me that they were under the impression that I was under 18, which obviously is not answering my question of where my manuscript is. Because one, they never told me that I had to be 18 or over to publish with them. And two, I was over 18, so it was not a very good excuse needless to say. But I asked them to please return my manuscript as soon as possible. And they did. They also returned it with a sheet of paper outlining that it would take about $2,000 for them to publish my book, promote my book, send me copies of my own book, and I believe send other copies to libraries and such as that. So, needless to say, I did not knew that, which is why I'm a self-published author. So basically, my definition right now of self-published author is that I have my own website. Very easy to get your own website. Very many free website templates out there. If I can do it, I'm sure anyone can do it. So I don't really like computers that much, but I do use them. So you can get your own website. And I actually type up my manuscripts, edit them thoroughly, and then publish them in a PDF format, which is also very easy to do as well. So, and then I sell them in my web store on my website, $3.50 each. So I have a volume of poetry, which is called Unspoken Words, and I talk about what inspired me to write that. So a lot of the poetry that I've written um, is just inspired by different emotions that I feel, different things that go on in my life, um, different things that I see around me. My life inspires a lot of the things that I write, and that is even more so in the short story volume that I have called The Story of My Life, which is literally at times the story of my life, because unlike some of these ridiculous movies out here, <laughs> it really is based on a true story. Um, I've gone through some pretty dramatic episodes with people that I've tutored, and I have written about them. <laughs> in my book which is why i love 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 for you all to read it like i said they're both only three dollars and fifty cents in my web store on my website which i'll put the link to it below um but my short story volume is very funny and i've been told that it's funny it's not just me who thinks it's funny obviously that would be pretty lame but it's funny so if you need to pick me up I would definitely suggest reading that. There is profanity in it, however, so if you're insulted by that, you would, you know, the volume of poetry is a lot better. But the reason I'm putting this out there, just about inspiration, is because I want to inspire you. I want to inspire other people. If you feel that you have a story, but you just don't know how to put it down, just start. You know, you have to start somewhere. And with me, I was not about to pay someone $2,000 so that they could start for me putting out my own book words that I'd written. So, like I said, I packaged them myself, and so it inspired me to do that. I'm a do-it-yourself type, definitely, but the thing that inspires me the most, especially with my short stories, are things that happen in my life, um, especially things that hurt me. I try to turn around and make it funny, because I've been in some pretty crazy situations with tutorials, and that is why, as of right now, I'm not tutoring anymore. Because I just really felt like people weren't meeting me halfway. I was doing whatever I could in order to help them. But they were just kind of acting like they were doing me a favor. Not the other way around, you know. But um, I do plan to start tutoring again. It is something that I'm very passionate about. I love helping people that are less fortunate. But I'm not going to keep, you know, working in certain situations where I find myself getting screwed over again and again and again and again. So I decided to write about it and I would encourage all of you to contact me about it. If there's something that I can do, we can do an exchange because I really want people to read my work. We can do an exchange for something that you have, for my book, or you can buy it. Let me know. 
let me know if you're an author too and would like to be featured on my site because I'm always looking for people to interview because I love telling other people's stories too and getting the word out about what they do. Let me know. And also, in addition to that, um, I have another video that is about my workout challenge, which as of right now, I'm the only person doing it, which is kind of boring. But if anybody out there needs to be inspired to work out, I'd love to do that too. Check out my video about Music on Fire's workout challenge and giveaway. There will be a giveaway. So if it's only me and one other person, obviously the other person that entered is going to be the only person getting something. It's going to be a good giveaway. Don't worry, it's not going to be something lame. But that's about it. So those are the things that inspired me. It's a little update on my little giveaway and workout challenge. That's about all. If y'all have any suggestions or concerns or comments for me, let me know. Pretty open-minded. Thanks. See y'all later.